On July 30, 2022, officers from the Pasadena Police Department were involved in an officer-involved shooting resulting in the death of an individual. California law requires that law enforcement agencies make available, within 45 days, video and audio recordings of critical incidents involving officer-involved shootings or incidents resulting in great bodily injury. This critical incident video includes officer-worn body camera footage, in-car video footage, audio recordings, and still images to provide the public with a more clear understanding of the incident. The investigation into this incident is ongoing, and it is expected that additional details could be revealed as the investigation continues. Comprehensive investigations will be conducted as a result of this officer-involved shooting by three separate entities. The Pasadena Police Department's Robbery and Homicide Unit has begun a criminal investigation. The Los Angeles County District Attorney's officer-involved shooting team is conducting an independent investigation, and the Pasadena Police Department's Professional Standards Unit will conduct a review to determine if the deadly force used adheres to the department's policies and procedures. Please be aware the video and audio recordings that you are about to watch contain graphic images and language that may not be suitable for minors. On Friday, July 29, 2022, at approximately 11.25 p.m., officers from the Pasadena Police Department responded to the area of Mountain Street and El Molino Avenue regarding a carjacking that had occurred. The victim told officers that his white 2002 Honda Odyssey minivan had been stolen by an unknown male Hispanic suspect who was armed with a handgun. The victim told the officers the suspect was wearing a black hat, a dark hooded zipper sweater, and dark colored pants. Approximately two hours later on July 30th, a red light traffic camera captured a picture of the stolen Honda. The vehicle is captured failing to stop at a red light at the intersection of North Garfield Avenue and Via Campo Street in the city of Montebello at 1.26 a.m. Sometime after being photographed by the red light camera in Montebello, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department attempted to conduct a traffic stop in the stolen Honda when it was discovered driving erratically. The vehicle failed to yield and a short pursuit ensued. The Sheriff's Department discontinued its pursuit of the vehicle in the area of the California 605 Freeway and the California 10 Freeway. Shortly after, the Monrovia Police Department attempted to conduct a traffic stop in the stolen Honda when they observed it making unsafe lane changes and driving erratically in the city of Monrovia. The driver failed to yield and a vehicle pursuit ensued. The pursuit entered the freeway and came into the city of Pasadena. The California Highway Patrol was monitoring the pursuit and assisted in the pursuit of the vehicle. At approximately 2.24 a.m., the Pasadena Police Department dispatch broadcasted that officers from the Monrovia Police Department were pursuing the stolen vehicle in the city of Pasadena. Monrovia Police pursued the vehicle within the city of Pasadena for approximately 18 minutes before officers from the Pasadena Police Department relieved them of their primary responsibilities in the pursuit. Pasadena Police officers attempted to pursue the Honda at various times and locations within the city of Pasadena, but the suspect driver would accelerate to high rates of speed and drive recklessly to evade pursuing officers. The suspect would often drive the wrong way towards oncoming traffic at speeds higher than 65 miles an hour, along with various surface streets, which caused officers to continually lose sight of the vehicle. <laughs>
Pasadena police officers continued to pursue the stolen vehicle as it traveled south on Lake Avenue from Mountain Street. It is in this area that officers attempted to employ a pursuit intervention technique, or PIT, to disable the vehicle. The officers ultimately did not complete the intervention technique because the suspect again accelerated to speeds that would have made the intervention technique dangerous. The suspect continued driving south on Lake Avenue in the northbound lanes of traffic before turning into the parking lot of a shopping plaza in the intersection of Lake Avenue and Orange Grove Boulevard. After pulling into the parking lot, the suspect can be seen brandishing a silver handgun while sitting inside of the stolen Honda. The suspect at several times points the barrel of the handgun at himself. Officers utilize the public address system from their police vehicles in an attempt to reason with the suspect and have him exit the vehicle. Officers negotiated with the suspect for approximately eight minutes. Officers repeatedly asked the suspect to put down his weapon and to surrender peacefully. Out of your surrounded, buddy. You need to drop your firearm, turn off your car, put both hands out the driver's window, and we'll go from there. While the Honda was stopped inside of the parking lot, officers strategically placed vehicles at the remaining exit point of the parking lot. The police vehicles were placed to keep the suspect from continuing to drive with the same wanton disregard for the safety of people and property which he had demonstrated earlier. While officers negotiated with the suspect to surrender peacefully, the suspect repeatedly refused to comply with the officer's orders and attempts to de-escalate the situation. The suspect continued to move the car east through the parking lot at various times in a jerking stop-and-go motion. During the standoff, the suspect called the Pasadena Police Department Dispatch Center from a cell phone the carjacking victim left in the car. During the phone call to dispatch, the suspect made statements of wanting to kill himself. No, I'm going to kill myself. Do not do that. Can you put your car in park? No, I want to die. Why? Adam, are you still there? What's going on with you? How can we help you? Adam, are you still there? What is your mom's name? Can you give me her phone number so I can try to get a hold of her? Okay, I'm going to try to have one of my dispatchers give her a call. Is that okay? Done. Why? Why is this all going on? I got prayed. You got what? Can you hear the officers, Adam? Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. 
the suspect continued driving south and east towards the south exit from the parking lot in the jerking stop-and-go motion towards the police vehicles and officers who were in that area. As the suspect approaches the apron of the sidewalk from the parking lot, an officer-involved shooting occurs. The suspect was identified as 35-year-old Adam Mustafa Yunus, a former Pasadena resident who is currently experiencing homelessness with ties to the city of Montebello. The handgun Yunus possessed during the incident was a silver-colored revolver with a brown handle. It was later discovered that the handgun recovered at the scene was unloaded. Detectives from the Pasadena Police Department responded to the scene and have assumed the investigation. The information provided in this critical incident video is based on preliminary and ongoing investigations. Our understanding of the facts and circumstances of this incident may change as additional information and evidence is discovered.